Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's a lovely morning and I'm about to start my morning routine and I'm gonna film it for you guys. But instead of, I like to film my morning routines differently every time. So today's morning routine, I'm gonna get very specific. It's not gonna be a ton of aesthetic clips with music and voiceover. We are gonna get specific on like every little thing that I do because I love when other people get very specific about you know how they do something in the morning or why they do that um, and the intention behind it so that's what I'm gonna do for you guys today um, I don't know I thought it'd be different and fun and um, I'm really thankful for my mornings and I've been really enjoying them a lot more I've been waking up earlier so I can enjoy my mornings if that makes sense but yeah, my hatch alarm went off. I tried, I was like half asleep. I tried to like film it on my phone, but that just didn't happen. But basically I have it set Monday through Friday. It goes off at 8.30 and slowly a light starts turning on. And then at 8.30 it's the brightest and music starts playing. You get to choose the music. I choose like this beautiful wind chime harmony. It's amazing. So with that being said, the first thing I do is I always put water on my nightstand the night before. So while I'm reading, I just need to drink and then usually I have some water left over. So I try and challenge myself as soon as I wake up to drink as much of this as I can. Ah, it wakes your body up, water is great for you. My word of the year is wellness, so I'm just trying to embody that as much as I can. You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna make my bed before I leave my room. We're gonna try and do that. I do that like every few times. And you know you slept well when your sheets and like comforter barely moved. And my throw pillow from right on this side is still exactly right there. I literally just crawled into bed and, and read and then fell asleep. <sighs> Easy enough. Now I need to open the blinds so we can truly wake up. Sorry, I look bad. You guys ready for the brightness? come to my beloved kitchen and well I immediately start playing music but I'm gonna wait till after this clip because copyright reasons but I will show you guys I'm a big music person some people wake up they turn on the TV some people wake up they want silence some people wake up they want to listen to a podcast I really love music in the mornings and there's a couple playlists that I really love especially um, I typically like kind of like folk pop, I guess you could call it. I don't know, folk music. So this is one of the playlists I've been loving right now. It's called Oat Milk Lattes in the Mountains. And it has a lot of um, Camp, Mount Joy, Lord Huron, The Lumineers, that kind of vibe, like songs that you might hear in a literal coffee house. Um, so I, and I always, I don't shuffle it. I always like start it at the first song and go down and I just know like that's how my morning when it gets to a certain song I'm like okay I should get off the couch now that's just kind of happened and then also my old roommate in college Delaney and still my best friend made this playlist while we were in college called coffee house truly inspired by this one coffee shop we would always go to to study for finals and stuff and the music that they would play and the same thing goes I would start with this song peaches by in the valley below and then go to the next song next song next song and I just love it so I typically play one of those I've done this for two years now and I'm still not tired of this exact music um, I like routine if you guys can't tell so I'm not gonna play the music just yet because we're we're chatting but that's what I cannot wait to do here in a second coffee Let's do it. On a day that I'm just feeling really good, I like to get one of my favorite mugs because just having a good mug that makes you happy, just, I don't know, change the drinking of the coffee experience. This is one of my favorite mugs. I had it in college too. I got it at Alfred Coffee. I love a big mug. I don't love just typical little mugs. I like, like our gals in the Go Merch mug. It's big, it has a big handle. Wow, I've never talked this much when I first woke up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um. But yeah, so we're gonna do this guy. So I have the Keurig single cup one where you have to fill it up every time. Um, just open it up. I have one Keurig cup left. Thank God, I really needed this morning. Pike Place, or no, this one's the Starbucks breakfast blend because they were sold out of Pike Place. 
boom. And then it takes like one to two minutes to finally brew. Oh, something else I do that some of you guys know, but I truly love it. My mom's boyfriend taught it to me. Pour your half and half, your oat milk, whatever you're putting in your coffee before you pour the coffee in. If you can estimate it correctly, because then you don't waste a spoon and it just stirs in together as the coffee pours in, it's mixing with your milk. And I do that every morning for sure. Because why waste a spoon to just stir it, you know? What am I thinking there? So while that's going, we're gonna head to the bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> These makeup clips are my holy grail in the morning. I will link them below. I'll link everything I talk about down below. I got them in a pack of like 12, I think, off of Amazon. Oh, there goes my coffee. The best noise. Ah. I just love these because I, the more I touch my hair, the more greasy it gets in the morning, or just in general, not just in the morning. And when I do this, it keeps my front hairs out of my face, and if I'm doing skincare or whatever, I just don't have to worry, but it also doesn't make creases in my hair. Um, so my hair is like good to go when I'm done, which I love. But we're doing this because we are putting on under eye patches they have quickly become part of my every morning routine. I mean, even when I went to Indianapolis for the um, college football national championship, I brought my eye patches with me. I don't really know if they work. I, I truly don't, but they're so cooling and they just feel so good in the morning and it just makes me feel like it's that little win, that little relaxation that I have in the morning with myself. Um, and they're gel, so they're very cooling and de-puffing and, you know, I don't know, if you have really puffy under eyes, try under eye patches. So I use a ton of different brands. I get so many DMs like, which ones do you use? I truly use so many different ones because um, I just like trying them all out. So this is from the brand Skin Iceland and I like these a lot. They have like this really delicious gel back and I personally wear the big side on the inside but some people would disagree with me and say that it should be opposite. It does fit better if you do it the other way, but I want more coverage here, you know? That's kind of my thinking, and it just feels better. It feels good, but sometimes I switch it up. So yeah, you're only supposed to keep these on for like 10, 15 minutes, but I pretty much keep them on till they start falling off my face. So yeah, that's that. Put on a little lip balm, and then we'll go grab our coffee and our ice roller. Coffee is freshly brewed, ready for us. And I'm gonna grab this ice roller that I got on Amazon. I love it, it's a little, it's a little squeaky, um, but it, oh, I love it. Another, I don't know, the combination of some cooling under eye patches, hot coffee, and ice cold ice roller for my face just hits in the morning. Always gotta have a candle lit for ambiance. I just lit the one in my living or in my kitchen, which is a rose quartz candle. This one is Santal 26. It's amazing. Love it. Then I grab a blanket or I'll put on my Barefoot Dreams robe. Oh, also something to note. This is what I slept in last night. It's a Barefoot Dreams loungewear set. So it's like the blanket on your body. It's so amazing and my heat's not working and I'm just, I don't want to call the maintenance fan. I feel so bad, I don't know why. So I'm just sleeping it cold. Um, but it's not that bad right now, it's good. So I pretty much just bundle up. The first sip of your coffee in the morning is very important. It sets the whole tone for the day. Am I being dramatic? Yes, a little bit, but I really wanted to explain why I do every specific thing in the morning, so that's what we're doing. All right. Ah. I love this moment. Can you guys even see the candle? There we go, there we go. <laughs> My ice roller is very squeaky, but this just truly wakes me up. It feels so good. We're deep puffing our face. We're waking up, we're self caring. We're doing all the things. Oh, there's a step we forgot. Then, since I'm sitting in front of my TV, I'm not someone to like watch TV as soon as I wake up. 
Very rarely do I do that. Sometimes on the weekends if I'm just feeling like whatever. But you guys probably can guess what I'm doing right now. I'm going on YouTube. I'm finding the perfect fireplace for today. And I just, during the winter at least, I like to have a nice little crackle on. It's so relaxing and it feels like I'm in a cozy cabin. So when I first wake up, I'm still like a little hazy. So I won't like pull out my planner right away or anything. Again, I'm really blessed that I have this extra time in the morning. So I'll pretty much just <laughs> squeak. Listen to this music I'm about to put on my playlist. Drink my coffee before it gets cold. And um, then we'll go from there. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna vibe for a little bit. Yeah. Hey. Hey. So once I'm about halfway through my coffee, very specific, but very true. I have a little caffeine going through me. I've just been sitting, listening to some music, rolling my face, waking up, honestly. I then grab for my doing well daily day book. I will have it linked below. It's always linked in the description. I still can't believe that I got to create a planner. That was one of my biggest dreams growing up. Um, and the fact that I got to do it with doing well daily was amazing and I'm so thankful for it. And I truly created it exactly how I wanted it to be. And I actually do have a whole video I made about, I don't know, a year and a half ago now about this book and going all the way through it and being very specific and, you know, but I'm gonna not exactly do that today so you guys can go check that out. But basically there's a single day on each page. This is like my third day book, I'm halfway through. So I'm gonna switch to the next page. I literally am so dramatic every morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what quote of the day is on there. Today's is the best time for new beginnings is right now. And I actually handpicked all of these phrases that I found online. None of these I wrote necessarily, but they were just phrases that I know I would want to see in the morning. So each page has a different um, phrase. And so each spread is for one single day. So on this side, it's my more motivational side. So I always start with this. And then the second page is like, get down to business, get after it, our plans. So I'm gonna start on the motivational page. And on here, I write the date, I write the day of the week, I'll write what I'm grateful for and some affirmations. It's just my way of kind of journaling in the morning, but it just has some more structure, which I really like. I then trace this quote with a pen or a marker, or whatever, it's very satisfying. And I feel like it really sets in the phrase for the day. I write something that I'm gonna do for myself self-care wise. This could be working out, this could be doing an eye mask, this could, be going for a hot girl walk, whatever it may be. And then I write what my mood is for the day. That could be like the music, the outfit, whatever you want. And then an act of kindness that I'm gonna do for somebody else today. And then on this side, I guess I am kind of going through it. Um, on this side, this has from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And I'll write down, I have a couple calls today and a couple meetings, so I'll write those down here so I can kind of get a visual. I also do, for transparency, use Google Calendar as well. I like to just see it in lots of different places. This is your life to do, so if I need to, I actually um, am I'm out of K-cups, so I, I would write that down here, just like go grab some more K-cups. Down here we have work and side hustle. These are my to-do lists. I made this in school, so I had work was my school to-dos, like homework and stuff, and then side hustle was YouTube, podcasts, etc. Now it's changed, so my work to-do list is this right here, which is so cool. Side hustle is just anything else I need to get done. That could be like sign up for a dance class for next week. That could be um, plan this, book this flight, whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna resume my music. And oh, my eye patches are definitely starting to get a little loose. <laughs> um, and go through this and write down what I'm grateful for. Start there, go to the other side and get to it. It's the, it's the best start of the day. I love it so much, link below if you guys want. All right, I finished filling out oh, my day book. I've got my plan for the day and my eye patches are getting very loose, yeah. They just wanna come off, so. Looking nice and awake there. And then once I take my eye patches off, I then can like truly get under my eyes with my ice roller. 
This thing stays pretty cold. A lot of people really like the Skinny Confidential one, which I want to try. I almost kind of love this one though because it's, um, I guess you could say plastic and it doesn't like freeze my face off. Sometimes the metal ones for me, they kind of sting my face, but this is like the perfect amount of cold. I don't know, everyone has their own opinions. I literally got this on Amazon. I'll link it below. Oh, just feels so good. But I'm a huge breakfast person and uh, some mornings when I wake up, I'm hungry, so I make breakfast before I actually have my coffee so I don't get too shaky. Um, but today I woke up very stable, so we had our coffee first, but now tummy is grumbling. It's time to make breakfast. Breakfast, I typically either do oatmeal, eggs of some sort. Eggs is the most popular. I'll do like scrambled eggs or do uh, egg, you know, sunny side up on a piece of toast. Um, or I'll do yogurt parfait with like berries and granola. So that's what I'm gonna do today because I do have some fresh berries um, and I have um, Greek yogurt and granola. So I'm gonna do that. So let's head over to the kitchen. I can't stop rolling my face. <laughs> I like to do a big bowl for my yogurt. I like um, Greek yogurt, non-fat or fat, I really don't care. It just kind of changes on the day. Um, but I like plain. I don't really like flavor because the berries and the granola add so much flavor. Um, this is the granola. I've actually never tried this one before. I usually use the Kind Bar blueberry cluster one, but they didn't have it at the store I was at, so we're gonna try Purely Elizabeth. Um, but I've, I've tried Purely Elizabeth granola years ago and loved it, so I imagine I'm gonna like this too. And then I typically like to do a blue and a red berry, <laughs> whether that's strawberries and blackberries or raspberries and blueberries, whatever it may be. Um, just keep it a little mixed up, so I'm gonna do these two berries. Ta-da, beautiful and delicious and very filling. Then I come over here. <laughs> I sit at my table because it's very hard to eat yogurt just like over the couch. Um, and then I'll switch over and watch some vlogs on YouTube. I'm like ready for some talking. I'm ready for some content. Um, I'm gonna watch my friend Margot Lee's moving day vlog. I've been loving watching her New York City apartment hunt. So I'm gonna watch her next vlog. I love watching my friends on YouTube, so let's eat. Breakfast is done. That was so delicious. That granola update was fabulous. It really made me like really enjoy every bite I took. So I thought I'd tell you guys that. I'm gonna put this stuff in the dishwasher and then probably run it, honestly, cause it's pretty full. It's a very small dishwasher. Very thankful that I have one, but it is tiny. So once I've eaten and caffeinated all the things, I like to take my supplements. Um, a lot of you have asked me what supplements I take and I'm not a doctor by any means. So I'm going to share it with you guys, but I also don't want to be like, this is what I need to take, you know, whatever. So I'm just going to share with you guys what I've been taking. I got this on Nordstrom.com. I'll link it down below if I can find it. It's so cute. It literally has like a little mirror. I've just found the only way I will truly take all of my supplements in the morning is if I have a pill box. So it works out really well. I, I started it last week. So now I've like come to the day that... It's not filled, so I'm not gonna fill it all up right now because you guys would just, it's like playing Mancala on Club Penguin, like putting each one, but I know what I take, so. So a couple of these my doctor actually recommended to me. So the first one I take, I just take a women's multivitamin, supports a healthy immune system, bone health, and cellular energy production. I just take one of these each day. And then I also take um, one elderberry supplement every day, which is a three-way immune boost. It has also zinc and vitamin C in it. Um, it's just got antioxidants and it enhances your immunity. So we love that. And then these are two recent ones I've been taking. I used to take ashw ashwagandha, but now I actually take magnesium every day. And uh, this is like for supporting your nerve, heart, and bone health, and it supports muscle relaxation. And then I also take Drenamine, which is for your adrenals, which 
cause adrenaline. Um, so I take a few of these every day with my food um, because you know sometimes if I start to feel panicky or anxious, um, adrenaline can start to come up. And if I can like control that a little bit more and just take some healthy supplements, we love that. Um, and again, this is not me telling you guys to take this. I am just sharing with you guys what I am taking. I am not a doctor. We're good? Okay. <laughs> and then lastly, I can't lie, I haven't been good at taking these. I take them every few days, because once I've taken all of those, it's like I feel like I've swallowed so many pills. But I've been trying to take this Well Bell hair, skin, and nails, but you have to take three every day, and they're pretty big. Um, so, but I'm really trying to like keep my hair nice and healthy, so I feel like some of that has to do with this, but I don't take them every day. So, I can't lie, but I'll take them today because we're filming, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fill up my water and just go to town um, and take all my supplements. It's just such a form of self-care for me. It makes me like so happy and I feel so proud of myself for really, you know, sticking to this routine and again, um, and then right after this, I'm probably gonna fill up my supplements box again because then every morning I just open up that day of the week and pop them down. Just thought I'd show you guys. I just filled it all up. It's very satisfying. It's literally like playing Mancala on Club Penguin. I don't know, that's how I feel. But yeah, then I just press them all together. We're all set for a new week. I should have started this on a Sunday, but I started it on a Thursday, like when I'm filming that, or on a Wednesday. I don't know, whatever. So now I have to start in the middle of the week, but that's fine. Ooh. Now it's time to take a shower and get refreshed and get ready for the day. I'm going to drink a green juice. I like to, I'm a big beverage gal if you guys can't tell. So I typically will drink a green juice um, when I get out of the shower, right before I shower. I don't know, I just like to have a green juice I sip on while I get ready, it's very refreshing. This has been my go-to juice. I'm actually about to get a juicer, so I'm very excited to see how I do juicing at home. But this is from Press Juicer. You can actually order online and if you live near one, they will like deliver it to you. But I also think you can literally ship it to your house, I think, if you don't live near one. Um, so this is the Greens 3 juice, it's my favorite. Apple, cucumber, celery, lemon, spinach, ginger, kale, parsley. Love it. It's so refreshing and I just feel like I'm putting some good into my body early in the day. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Time to shower. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. I'm not gonna be washing it today. So this is a specific morning routine. So I'm gonna take you guys into my shower and show you what products I will be using today. So today I'm gonna be using this Santal 33 Le Labo shower gel. It's fabulous. And then over here we've got some other products. Um, I use a Billy razor. I absolutely love it using this Bare Minerals Gel Cleanser, and then this European Wax Center Slow Body Polish. Um, I also have to give a shout out to this Necessaire Body Wash. Clearly, I love it. It's eucalyptus scented. It's, I mean, I use so much of it. It smells so good. It's so, like, awakening. <laughs> it's awesome. So, I think that's everything that I'm going to be using in the shower today because I'm not washing my hair, obviously. And if we're getting super specific, I love my Brooklyn and towels. I use the Super Plush line. Um, they have different types of towels, but these are so luxurious. This is in the color Caramel. My shower curtain's literally Brooklyn and two. All right, I will see you guys on the flip side. All right, post-shower skincare routine, let's get it. I start off with the Sunday Riley CEO Glow Serum. This is my all-time favorite. It smells good, it makes you look so glowy. It literally smells like you're in a spa. Oh, I love this stuff so much. Next up, I use the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Under Eye Cream. I've just started using under eye cream again because um, I know it's more preventative, especially at this age, but this one in particular, it's brightening and depuffing, and I'm sure it's good for like wrinkles in the future too, but I just feel like it truly does brighten up my under eyes, which is why I use it. Um, and it gives your under eyes a little bit of a glow, like kind of on your cheekbones as well, especially on days you don't wear makeup. And then I use a lip balm. Today I'm not wearing makeup, so I like to use a little bit of a tinted lip balm. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the color, I don't know what color. Oh, in the color Vanilla Beige. 
and I really like it. It has like just the slightest tint to it. Yay! <laughs> and then also I use the European Wax Center um, Ingrown Hair Serum because, you know, where it's supposed to go down there because it helps prevent ingrown hairs and we don't like that. So I will also do that. And yeah, that is that. I'm gonna brush my teeth once I'm done drinking my green juice. If you guys are wondering about that, that also reminds me I need to book a dentist appointment. But yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed now. Let's do it. Welcome to my closet. Um, so when I get dressed for the day, the first thing I do is look at the weather. It's a lot warmer today than it was yesterday, which I'm really thankful for. Um, so it's 44 degrees, high of 45 it seems. So it's not freezing cold and honestly, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> the next few hours I have a couple of calls and I'm gonna get on my computer. I don't like to do emails right when I wake up. Also mainly because most of the people I deal with um, work-wise live in LA. So I have a couple hours on them before they start their day. So I'm never like in this huge rush again. I'm so thankful that I have that capability. But yeah, I'm not leaving my apartment anytime soon, but I'm gonna put on an outfit that all I need to do is put on a jacket, maybe a scarf, and then I'll be warm when I go outside. So I'm not gonna put on like a summer dress right now. Um, but I also really like to be comfortable. So that's what we're gonna go with today. So 44 degrees, what we got. Okay, so I think what I wanna wear is actually in my living room, so let's go. So I don't know if you guys knew this. If you go watch my apartment tour, you would know. But this dresser that I have under my TV, the top drawer has stuff for the living room, but this is all clothes. I just need more storage. So I'm feeling just like a comfy shirt. I'm thinking this long sleeve shirt from Boundless Loungewear. I love it, it's stretchy, it's comfortable, and it would be good if I need to put something else on to layer over top, and it's cropped, very flattering. And then I actually was doing my laundry last night, so these things are air drying, but I think I'm gonna pair this long sleeve top with these sweatpants. I got them, or these are from Revolve actually. I'll link them below if they're still available. They're just like straight leg sweats, which I really like. It's just something different. I love the cream color. It has this one little hole <laughs> too. So this is a comfy vibe. All right, we have the fit on and I'm just gonna add some hoop earrings to feel something. These are just small little guys from Love AJ. I'm really the only one that's gonna see these and then the people on my video calls, but that's fine. Ta-da. And then for example, later today when I go run my errands, I go get my Keurig cups, this is how I'm going to lay and this is what I'm going to wear. I'm gonna wear this Acne Studios scarf. It's super warm. Just adds a little color to the fit. Some white sneakers. And then this camel colored um, jacket from Aloe. And I'll be good to go. Obviously, like I said, sneakers and a purse or a tote bag. But yeah, that's the fit. So yeah, that is my very specific morning routine. I'm getting undressed because I am about to grab my computer, sit at my desk slash also dining table slash everything else and get to work for the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see a very specific night routine. I think that could be really fun. And um, I don't know, to me having some sort of consistency every day is really nice and um, I'm really just trying to practice some more self-care this year. So I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys are new here for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And I will see you guys this Wednesday for our next video. Bye guys.